up guys, Afton back again, and today I am finally doing another tutorial video. As probably some of you, a lot of you know, there's a new AI system with enemies for Jumbotron, Golden Trophy, and Crimson Cauldron. Eye on Crescendo, who knows when that's gonna happen. And maybe even bosses. Um, disclaimer! I made, at the time of this recording of the video, of me recording this, I... It's before Rec Room does any tutorial on it, so if this comes out later, don't expect me. <laughs> Just, I didn't copy it, okay? If it did, it probably didn't make sense, but you get the point. Anyways, I'm going to teach you how to spawn in AI. It works everywhere except for your dorm room, I believe. So let's do it now. First, you want to go to, you want to get your makeup pen out. You open your palette, go to gadgets, then go to other gadgets. And you see there's a new tool called Spawner Gadget. You're going to select it. And then there would be this. You can configure it. You click configure. Um, and then you can, for object, you can make like a clay pot. I don't entirely really know what the point of that is. You can do like some props. You can do a coconut bomb. Okay. Um, mainly you can do enemies like imp. And like the normal goblins. But. Even Gematron enemies. I've been experimenting. And of course you only can kill this thing with. It's. You know. Uh, but for now we're just gonna do. This boy. Now listen. It doesn't really work. I got on its own. What you need to do is get something that causes it, like a trigger zone or a button. Right now, I'm going to do a button. So you're going to want to go to props, dynamic, button. I'm going to get it out. Then I'm going to wire, wire the red when button is pressed to start spawning. And you see, it's not going to work on its own like that. So you can see it needs a nav mesh. Whatever that is. <laughs> they go to nav mesh. You're going to want to go to this room. Settings. See, it dies on its own. You want to click the new AI setting. And you want to click rebake nav mesh. Which covers a certain area, which is what this white outlining is. And to make it bigger, you're, you need to scale this. Okay, now that's a wall. You want to scale the nav mesh and then click re and click rebake nav mesh and it makes it larger. I'm going to delete this wall so you get the point. Rebake. Let me just delete that. Well, we're discovering together. Apparently, you can't do it without a floor. So let's just add a floor, shall we? <laughs> This is going to be a weird tutorial video, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's just freeze this. Okay. Now let me try again. Rebake nav mesh. And the... Oh yeah. It's on this material. This is pretty confusing, but hopefully you get the point. Anyways, now when you do it, it will spawn the thing. Before I do that, I'm going to change the button to... Fire Goblin. You don't need to do this, I'm just doing it f for reasons. Now, I can spawn in a weapon. Instead of a normal sword, I'm going to go with something that I like a lot more, and it's the whip. Because I'm pretty, I like Crescendo a lot. And now when I click, it spawns it. You can spawn more than one if you like. By configuring it. See, I could just, like, spawn in seven. Why not? Yeah. Well, now you know how to do AI. As for surviving against them, I believe you have to have, like, a PvP game going starting, and then, um, the enemies can hurt you. Until then, that's all I know, and hopefully you found this video somewhat helpful, as confusing as it was. Thank you, and see you in the next.